Turn around, put your hands behind your back like that. Turn around, put your hands behind your back like that. Turn around, put your hands behind your back like that. Why come some piece of shit or something? Don't go either way. I don't give a fuck right now. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not going to tell you. Don't give a fuck. 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 Don't give a So, uh, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rekagradash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone because they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect scattered across the world fighting for their salvation. This is the prophet Yanazar. I'm with the SOYWY, Charleston, South Carolina branch. I'm coming back at you with another lesson. <clears throat> Lord's will it be edifying. Now, this is a video I came across on YouTube, and, um, I'm going to start off by saying this. Everybody knows Jake for talking too much. Um, but the thing is, a lot of these uh, Israelite men, uh, they grew up in a household, a single-parent household raised by their mothers. And uh, you already know how Eve get down. You know, she's emotional as hell. She talks too much, very argumentative. And uh, Jake has adopted that same spirit. And you see it more and more with our people every day. Uh, I'm, not all, I'm not sure exactly what the sheriff said to the guy, but... Uh, it was enough to get him all roused up like that. And um, the thing about it is, it's like when Esau crosses us like that, he expects us to just stand there and take it. Um, now, you can speak up for yourself, but there's a way you do it. Now, but when you, all your emotions start coming to the surface like that, you already know it's going to be a losing battle because um, right now we're in the land of our captivity. Uh, our enemies have uh, have rulership over us. So the way the system is rigged against us, they're gonna lose. Regard I mean, you're gonna lose regardless. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and quote a couple of scriptures, and uh, I'll go back to the video and pull up some comments real quick. And um, yeah, that'll pretty much be the lesson. But um, this is gonna be uh, chapter five. Uh, excuse me, Matthew chapter five, verse twenty-five, and it says, "Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him, lest any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge." And the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. And uh, like I was saying earlier, you have to know when to agree with the enemy. And uh, one of my other lessons that I did previously, uh, I went into how a couple years ago, I walked outside my apartment and I was headed to work about, you know, about 6 a.m. in the morning. And there was a police officer outside walking his dog. He was my neighbor. And... Um, he saw me getting putting my stuff inside my car to get ready to go to work, and um, he looked over and asked me, "He said, you live around here?" Yeah, uh, that made me feel some type of way because you know, uh, this is my neighbor, so I'm expecting like a good morning, hey, how you doing, something. You know, there was none of that. It was just, you know, how Esau is when he sees Jake in the neighborhood. You know, you live around here? Where are you going? And that was more or less the attitude. But uh, thinking about Matthew chapter five, verse twenty-five. Uh, as a way to make my life easier, I just said, yeah, yeah, I live right here. I've been around here for a minute now. And um, the officer was like, pretty much okay, or, you know, whatever the case may be. But I didn't say it or uh, use words that uh, are considered disrespectful as an attempt to avoid escalating the situation, because I know it was going to turn out bad for me regardless. So, uh, but yeah, I ended up heading to work that day, and everything went over smooth, but that's just my own testimony. Um, but yeah, the, the whole purpose of these scriptures is we're supposed to actually apply the scriptures when we end up in these situations. And you watch how uh, the Lord's words and his wisdom will work for you in your life. But um, Jake being as emotional as they are, they don't apply the scriptures. All they apply is their emotions and their mouth. And that's how, uh, you know, Jake constantly getting shot and killed on TV by the police. You know, because uh, they're constantly doing stuff to escalate the situation. Now, sometimes Jake is in the right and the officer is in the wrong. But uh, because we're in our captivity, I mean, it's a situation where you're going to lose regardless. Um, you have to keep in mind, when these police officers handle Jake, they're looking for an excuse to kill you anyway. So why play into it? But, um, yeah, let me go and get this scripture real quick. I try to always open up with, uh, I don't know why I did that. This is Matthew chapter 4, verse 17. And it says, from that time, Yahweh Shah began to preach. And just say, repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. 
I love quoting this scripture, you know, for the new new viewers out there. Um, one of the reasons we go to the highways and byways to put up these videos is to uh, tell the so-called black man, the Native American Indian man, and the Latino man in America and in the world that you're the Israelites according to the Bible. And, you know, you have to repent and um, keep the Lord's commandments to the best of your ability and hopes to get on his good side. So when uh, society officially collapses, um, you would have obtained the Lord's mercy. And uh, maybe he'll look out for you during these last days. As long as you're doing things that you know please him. But yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and get a few comments off the comment board in that video. Just to uh, kind of get an idea of, you know, where everybody else was coming from. After they watched it. Yeah, I didn't know if the video was going to play again. Alright, so. Video got over 8,000 comments. I guess this is something that took place recently. Uh, this one guy said they don't like it when you give them the same energy they give you, right? Because we're in our captivity, so uh, Esau knows we're up under the curses. He knows we're the Israelites, so um, they expect you know when they disrespect you, they expect you just to stand there and take it, and uh, you know not defend yourself. But you know Jake doesn't use wisdom in those situations. He uses his emotions. Now, even though the brother might have been in the right for you know speaking up for himself. I mean, in the end, look how that turned out for him. And um, in the end, um, not only is the sheriff going to put charges on him, but I'm pretty sure the judge is going to enforce it now, too. Because uh, the brother did that right there in a courtroom full of what looked like Edomites. And you could tell Eve was in the background. So, yeah, I know this goes. Pretty much everybody and everything in society is set up against the so-called black man. So, uh, nobody in that courtroom is really going to, you know, show him that favoritism. Um... If you scroll down, it says, he checked him straight like that. Yeah, I mean, he might have put the sheriff in check, but, you know, look how that turned out for him in the end. He ended up in handcuffs. And if Jake had, you know, acted at a character and started throwing hands, more than likely the officer would have, you know, you know what I mean? He would have took it there. Uh, respect is a two-way street. It doesn't matter what position of authority you are coming from. Treat people the same way you expect to be treated. And like I said in the beginning, um, everything goes back to the curses our people up under, so... Yeah, we we demand respect from Esau, but uh, we're not going to get it. That's the way the Lord set it up. Now, there's a scripture that talks about how when uh, man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies be at peace with him. I believe that's in uh, Proverbs chapter 16. Um, the Lord can put the spirit on them to uh, you know treat you with more respect, but a lot of times the way they treat you is based off how you carry yourself. You know, Jake out here is like a wild bull in a net and just saying whatever, doing whatever. And these Edomites who hate us anyway, they're not going to, you know, be so quick to show us that kind of respect. Respect goes both ways, it does. Let me check on this one. Facts. You have no accountability. Yep, they be scared as fuck. That part. Define accountability. Are you just saying a buzzword to feel morally superior? If you've heard YouTubers say it. Yeah, it's pretty much all the comments on the comment board. You know, some people are showing sympathy for the black guy. Others are like, he should have been more cooperative. But yeah, it all goes back to the curse of Yahweh Shemel Shai put up on our people yeah, for our sins and iniquities. Oh, hold on, let me do it like this. Ah, it's the spirit. I went right to it. This is a scripture I pulled up earlier too. I showed it to someone else. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. It says, And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon thine enemies. And on them that hate thee, verse here. Let me see. I'm not sure if that's the one I wanted or not. Well, this is actually talking about how the Lord's going to put um, the curses on us, on our enemies. But there's another one I wanted. There's another one I have in mind. See, I hope this is it. Uh, I guess I'll grab 15. Yeah, this is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It says, but if 
It's just uh, referring to what the Lord is going to do to the Israelites if uh, we didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments. Uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15, and it says, But shall, uh, it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to over observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I commanded thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And uh, as you scroll down, it goes into the, the curses the Lord put on the people. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. And uh, from what it looked like, this brother right here is inside of a city courtroom. What it looks like. So uh, these are the curses that's on our people. As you saw for yourself, you know he got all rousted up uh, by whatever the sheriff said to him, I guess. So you know, you know those curses are in full effect. So Jake needs to be more circumspect when he's out here, not to be so uh, so emotional with these people, because they're looking for a reason to get rid of us, anyways. Yeah, um, I guess I'll play the video one more time before I go and close out. But uh, yeah, that was pretty much the lesson. Uh, Lord's will, I hope it was edifying. Until next time, I want to say, Call Holy Am La, Yahweh, Baha Shim, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shim, Kakudash. Shalom. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm not your dog when you're moving. Throw up the chance. Don't act like that. And like I said, I told you, I'm not your dog when you're moving. Throw up the chance. Don't act like that. Turn around, put your hands on the ground. Like that. Like I'm some piece of shit or something. Don't talk to me. Don't eat me like that. It'll go either way. I don't mind that right now. Put your hands behind your back. I'm not going to take you over here.